Hey everybody, welcome to ConductorPlugin.com. Today's lesson is how to create WooCommerce landing pages that convert. Uh, and in it, today's example, we're gonna create two different examples. One landing page is specifically for showing off one product. Uh, and today's products are actually gonna be all about mittens. Uh, and we're gonna talk about why, how we built this, why we build this, and then our second landing page will be about uh, displaying multiple WooCommerce products using Conductor. Uh, but then also capturing a lead, uh, like an email opt-in or an automatic drip, and talk about sort of some of the benefits of that. So before I begin, some of the requirements, of course, uh, is WooCommerce. Uh, that's what we are covering today. You can get that for free in WordPress.org uh, or just Google WooCommerce, and you can go ahead and find that. Uh, Conductor uh, is a premium uh, plugin. Of course, it is uh, up for sale here at ConductorPlugin.com, and anybody who's a power user, uh, whole license holder or developer holder will get access to the add-ons here uh, and specifically the custom fields add-on and the WooCommerce add-on that we'll need to build the layouts today. Uh, I also demonstrate this on one of our themes called Modern Business. You don't need to use the theme, of course. Uh, it's just an example. Conductor does work on any theme. So uh, let's just go ahead and let's talk about this page real quick. So in the, in the blog post, uh, the first example I show is this, and it's featuring one product, right? Uh, how do, why do we want to do this? Number one, well, a typical landing page, a squeeze page, is going to have uh, a lot of, uh, you know, just a lot of real estate. We want to focus in on this one product. This is the product we want to sell. Uh, if we're using these landing pages in pay-per-click campaigns, uh, social uh, media advertising campaigns like on Facebook or Twitter or any kind of uh, Google um, pay-per-click campaign, something like that, or even traditional advertising, we want to make sure that we're not just dumping them, dumping off the visitor to our homepage that has a lot of uh, other content or information about our company. We might be featuring just these blue mittens somewhere else on the web or in traditional media. So when somebody lands here, here's what you want to buy. You want to buy these blue mittens. They can't get away from this. Sure, they can sort of, uh, you know, find their way through the top navigation, but primary focus is right here, right? This is right here on the page, and, and I don't see any other product, right? Yeah, my mind and my brain is sort of trained to uh, just not even look at the navigation. I'm just looking at this great big call to action, right? So that's how we've structured that this page. So we're gonna dive into it, and I'm gonna do all this stuff in the front end just because it's a little bit easier uh, to demonstrate that. So I'm just gonna use uh, the conductor, uh, conduct this page, <clears throat> and you can see here that I've already selected, I, what I did is I created a page called Blue Mittens, and then I told Conductor, give me a full width layout, right? I, I want to make this a full width layout, and it's in responsive mode right now, so it's kind of just snapping down there a little bit. But if I were to just disable this, we would see this is just the page, right? There's nothing here. There's no content on this page. We built everything using Conductor and some plugins on this, uh, some plugins and some widgets, I should say. So let me just open that back up. So there's two widgets that create this page. Um, this is the Modern Business hero widget and then the conductor widget. So let's take a look at that real quick. So the hero widget really is just a, a, a great way to throw some sort of big heading text uh, in here. So winter sale, never let your hands freeze again. That's in the title. And then we add some descriptive text that sort of, that sort of supports that uh, important unique value proposition or call to action, uh, which is crucial to a landing page, right? When the person gets to this page, why am I here? What am I doing here? What am I gonna learn? Well, winter sale, <coughs> excuse me, Winter sale, of course, uh, demonstrates that this is a sale. There's a sale going on. Uh, and never let your hands freeze again. Well, of course, that's, I, that's why I want to buy some mittens. That's why I clicked on the ad in the first place. I never want my hands to freeze again when I'm outside. And some supporting text uh, or paragraph that supports that. Uh, so let's take a look at the conductor widget. Now, notice I'm just hitting these edit buttons, and they just quickly bring me right to the widgets, which is really cool. Uh, another little cool thing about conductor. So. With the WooCommerce add-on, not only can I say, give me just one product and I can select <clears throat> my WooCommerce products, but I can also adjust, uh, of course, the display. Uh, and in this case, we're using large, so it takes up the full width, but then I can work with these WooCommerce fields, right? So if I type that in there in the custom fields, I can see all of the WooCommerce fields available to me in, in Conductor, uh, and then I can go ahead and add those in this list and I can move them around. So if I wanted the price uh, to be <clears throat> above the title, I could put the price above the title if I wanted to. Uh, I can change this, uh, 
this this title of this field here to uh, you know maybe hurry sale and soon something like that instead of the other way around and save that if I don't want it I can just I can just kind of hide it for now and then maybe I decide yeah you know what let's save that let's let's put that back there um, the real cool thing is we pull it in the default WooCommerce Add to Cart button so depending on your settings and what you want it to do when you click Add to Cart um, this is this will take you either add it right into the cart or take you right to the product. And the cool thing is we can also change this title too. So not only are we saving development time and not having to write the code to pull in the products, we can also uh, change this uh, by now, <clears throat> which is great for optimizing these sort of these little call to actions. You know, you can say like hurry, sale, end soon, and there's the price instead of just the plain old price. These little things really add up in conversions and sort of the emotions of a buyer. So I think I had before, I said, yes, uh, please keep my hands warm, right? Because it's not just buy it now because that doesn't really inspire me to buy it, but maybe yes, please keep my hands warm. Yeah, I, that's exactly what I want to do with these mittens. Um, and so that's the example and, and the reason behind having a landing page or a squeeze page, whatever you want to call it, uh, specifically for one product. The focus is on this one product. I'm not looking anywhere else. I've got a great big call to action. Gets me pumped up to sort of buy this product. And now I can read about it and I can, I can see the sales ending. I can see the price and let's just get this thing going. Let me add this to my cart. So that'll really help with conversions with your WooCommerce products, especially if you're doing the advertising. Let's take a look at the second example. This one's a little bit more interesting because now in this example, what I'm saying is, well, we might not be super concerned about selling this one product. Before I said, well, we can have a landing page with this one product. This is the product I want to sell. In this example, we're just showcasing all the mittens that our store has. Uh, and we're doing a little call to action on the side for getting somebody into a new funnel. Uh, this, in this example, I'm using uh, Easy Opt-in widget, which will drop uh, anybody who signs up here, drop them into my MailChimp list. MailChimp has a great new automation. Um, feature for MailChimp where now we can sort of drip out uh, emails and information to our prospect, right? So in this example, I'm saying the best yarn mittens around uh, and these are all the mittens that we have. And on the right hand side, oh, by the way, we have these specialty mittens and this is just obviously an example here. So what if you had mittens that had some kind of special technology in them, like something that would help you track your fitness, right? So you'd say something like lose weight wearing these mittens, our fitness mittens to track your movement, whether you're throwing snowballs or running in the park, uh, you can shed those pounds and people might want to learn more about these special mittens, right? And the idea here is... Uh, you know, these mittens are $17.99, $9.99. Maybe our fitness mittens are $89.99, right? Because they track all this stuff. They sync with our iPhones. Who knows what it does? Uh, but the idea is sort of the higher dollar product might take a longer lead time to sell uh, for our customer to purchase from us. They're not just going to hop into our site and say, oh, those are the ones I want, 100 bucks, no problem. Maybe they'll do that for the $10 mittens because it's more of a commodity and it's very price driven, but maybe our specialty mittens where we're making a little bit more money um, are going to take a little bit more convincing, more education, more learning for our client. And that's the idea here. So using Conductor, we can display many products. We can go back and we can add in our call to action and it works with any other widget. So this particular widget um, is the opt-in widget and it works. Uh, it's This widget doesn't particularly display well on the front end customizer, but we can add it in uh, and we can see that right here on the right hand side. And we have the option to add in other widgets if we wanted to, you know, if we needed, uh, you know, I, you know, if we want, just wanted to put an arbitrary text thing in here. So we go test with text, we can add in uh, these elements and sort of build our page and maybe add to our landing pages to help with optimization um, or adding more content, that kind of thing. So it doesn't just stop on, uh, you know, this one layout or the other layout that I showed you the full width. We can do content sidebar like we have here. At any point, we can mix and match these, these products. If we don't want to do the small, maybe we're looking at this saying, this page isn't converting that well. I wonder why, or maybe we're getting more sales than we thought we would. You can switch this to large and now we can show a large display of our, con of our uh, products. The idea here is it's just super fast. There's no coding and you don't have to get your hands dirty and it gives you 
an infinite possibility in a, in, a, in a sense to come in and mix and match content and layout. So pretty powerful stuff when we take Conductor and match it uh, with WooCommerce. You can do some pretty fun things uh, with landing pages. So I hope that really helps. I hope you enjoy the article. Do let us know if you have any questions about Conductor. You can find more at conductorplugin.com.